Navajo Nation has begun a three week lockdown after officials found COVID-19 was spreading uncontrolled through 34 communities. Now, this comes after a spring when the Navajo Nation had the highest rate of coronavirus cases in the U.S., surpassing even New York City. Martin Savage reports. Winter like cold has returned to the Navajo Nation. So has coronavirus. Last spring, COVID-19 devastated the sprawling 27,000 square mile Navajo reservation that stretches across Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah. In May, per capita Navajo infection rates surpassed New York and New Jersey. Dee Dixon's younger sister among those infected. She went in to get tested and um, she said she tested positive. Just two weeks later, Dixon listened helplessly over the phone as her sister's COVID battle ended in a distant hospital room. I was talking to her and I was telling her, Sissy, you can't go, you have to come home to us. By 545, you just hear that, that tone of her heart stopping and the doctor came on the phone and she said she was gone. Now COVID's back. Navajo health officials warn of the virus's uncontrolled spread in 34 communities and fear an outbreak as bad as spring or worse. The cases just have been increasing. There is no plateau. There is no flattening. How many ICU beds do you have here? We have 14 in Navajo area. Here at this site, we have six. Last time, the Navajo sent many other cases off reservation to larger hospitals in New Mexico and Arizona. Health volunteers poured in. That's not likely this time. Hospitals nationwide are struggling to find beds for their own critical cases. So the Navajo are preparing to fight alone, locking down the entire Navajo Nation for three weeks. Announcing the news on Navajo Radio. Good morning. I hope everybody woke up feeling good, feeling that they want to stay home and take care of themselves. Under the order, people can only leave their homes for emergencies or essentials. Government offices and businesses must close. Learning is online. Gas stations and grocery stores can open, but under limited hours and capacity using strict sanitizing procedures. Checkpoints like this one are designed to limit off-nation travel. Meanwhile, non-residents and tourists can pass through. They just can't stop. Face masks, already mandated, now are encouraged to be worn indoors with family. And we're like an island in Navajo Nation. So, of course, if you have record-breaking numbers all around us, it will come in to that nation or that area. And that's what's happening today. Aggressive screening continues. Officials say more than 50% of the nation's residents already have been tested, and more than 250 contact tracers work to isolate transmission. Health officials have identified sites to quarantine thousands and to place hundreds of hospital beds. Native utility crews race to bring electricity to some of the roughly 30% of Navajo who live without it, saving them searching for firewood or fuel. And running water to the about 40% who have none to make hand washing and hygiene easier. With this little help, it will greatly improve their lives. So far, the strict lockdown has received little pushback, perhaps because even those who have already endured agonizing loss realize there is still so much more the Navajo could lose. To keep us, to keep us safe, to keep us alive, that's what the lockdown is for.